Hi there! Today we are going to be showing 2 Megapixels fisheye camera and network configuration instruction video. So here we got the 2 Megapixels fisheye camera. After opening the package, we've got disk, menu, and accessories. Finally, we've got to see how it looks. With our overshaped design, the camera can make the best use of its 300 degrees monitoring advantage. Next, let's check out the car slot location, RS2 location, and cables, including RJ45 network cable. Power cable, alarm cable, CVBS output, audio input, and audio output. So, by knowing those cables, we now connect the power and the network cable. The other side of the network cable is connected with the router. So we have to create a local area network between the laptop and the camera. After connecting, we will need to open the IP search tool to check the IP address of the camera and the laptop to see if they are in the same setting. Which is important, let's see that the last one is different from each other. If not, we should modify over the IP search tool. Click modify, then search again. See, pretty easy. After setting up, we may lock it now. Double click on the address to the page where we should install the plugin first. Select the English language and enter account and password to login. There we go! And you may start configuring the wireless IP address. Click Configuration, Local Network, Advanced Settings, then Wi Fi. And check DHCP after scanning and entering the password of the specific Wi Fi that you got after scanning. Save and refresh. When the address down below the DHCP shows, it means it is successfully connected. We now can see there are two IP addresses that there is only one as we disconnect one. Likewise, Search IP over the tool, have double click and access into the page where we can find configuration. Let's get to configuration and select system, then SD card. As we very first time user, we should format the card so as to conform the storage format. Here I suggest that you better back up the files before doing it. Next, rec setup and enable record. Click every and all day here that the mean recording round the clock every single day circular and save. Now let's check out historic playback. As we can see the specified date and time right up there. Click the search button to take back to when it was recorded. We may play it. We can find configuration, local network area, advanced settings, then P2P. To see if it is connected successfully. Besides, if you want to monitor via phone, here's where you can first download the free IP app by scanning the Android or the iOS QR codes. Let's open the free IP app and log in. Click Device, Add Device, then SNET and scan and enter the account password, device name, and verification code. Click. Besides, you can also enter it manually.
we can see that the device cannot be added again. Let's move on. Click VR Panoramic. Select the device added and preview. It will start monitoring via film. VMX is an application which enables you to monitor through PC. The instruction for you here. First off, type www.herospeed.net. Read more on PC client. Choose the system your computer is suitable for and download. Let's run the setup. There we go. We now may log in the account of VMX. Now scanning. And select one and add it to your system. Let's preview and set up how frequent you want to record in storage. Click Always. All done. You now may feel free to check out the playback in which has been recorded. If you find this video helpful, please give us thumbs up down below or repost our video. You can also follow our official accounts to get more information. Enjoy it.